Our next question has to do with uh, federal lands, a very popular topic here in the great state of Utah with over two-thirds of our land being controlled by the federal government. The question is from Lars Johnson. What would you do to give control back to the state of Utah in regards to public land? Jonathan Johnson. This is a crucial issue, and it's particularly crucial to rural Utah's economy. Their economy is so tied to access to the public lands. 31 million plus acres, two thirds of our state, is owned and managed by the federal government. Over decades, that management has become more and more restrictive. And while we've brought some action to try and get control of the land, it hasn't been enough. Our legislature has given the governor's office tool after tool. They've, done a, they've commissioned a feasibility study by our universities, which said, the state could manage the land in an economically feasible way. They've funded a lawsuit, and they've done the research on the lawsuit. It's time that the state brings a lawsuit to transfer the land back to the state, just like was done in Illinois, Nebraska, Florida, and other states with the same type of statehood act that we have done. I'm ready to bring that suit quickly when I'm the governor. Governor Herbert. Well, it's a complex issue. I've been involved in the public land issue since I was a county commissioner back in the mid-90s. And when we passed the legislation, and by the way, I'm the only governor in America to sign any piece of legislation that allows for the transfer of the public lands from the federal government to a state in America today. But when we passed that legislation, the counsel was given to us, do not sue unless you have a Republican in the White House. This is not a slam dunk. This is a hard challenge. We thought it was going to be Mitt Romney. Didn't quite happen the way we uh, dreamed it to be. But our congressional delegation, led by Congressman Bishop and Chaffetz and Senator Mike Leaf, stepped up and said, in the meantime, let's see if we can't put together a legislative solution. We call it the Public Land Initiative. Uh, uh, Congressman Bishop believes we've got the votes. We need to let that play out. We do have 26 lawsuits going on right now. We're, we're negotiating, we're trying to legislate, and we're also suing. But it would be counterproductive and probably reckless if we file a lawsuit to try to take these lands over now before we let the legislative uh, process go forward. And so we're following the lead of our congressional delegation. We ought to listen to those people back in Washington. They're on our team. The, the, this is one of the areas where the governor and I disagree. When he was first appointed, he stood up and said, I will not stand idly by. Utah is not a colony. He did not say, I will not stand idly by until Mitt Romney is elected in 2012 or until we get a Republican some number of years from now. This is an issue that is crucial to Utah now. And as good as it is that our congressional delegation is negotiating, without the leverage of a lawsuit, they are negotiating without any negotiating effort. Let's help our congressional delegation. Let's help rural Utah by being aggressive on this issue. Not risky, aggressive. It would be, in fact, risky because as soon as we file that lawsuit, all the good work we've done for the past three years with our congressional delegation will be thrown out the window. We will have a national monument by next Friday if we file that litigation today. We've got to let this play out. There's got to be a common sense approach here to make sure we have the optimal opportunity, in fact, to, to get the public lands back in our control.